Hello everyone. Uh, the set might still be uh, from the Serie A review, but I'm already in Champions League mode. First of all, I'm wearing a Tottenham shirt, the Tottenham shirt that I have. Um, I thought now that they're, they're playing well, I have not worn this in almost 10 years, so I thought it's time to dust this off and wear it again. It's a really nice shirt. Uh, and yeah, I got, even got some compliments today at work from some Londoners that were visiting. So was happy about that. And then, of course, uh, I'm happy that one of my favorite Champions League teams made it back to the group stage after failing last year. And that's, of course, Ajax from Amsterdam. And I thought I used this while I'm gearing up for the Champions League, uh, preparing a jersey review there. I know I still have the Premier League, Primera Division, and a little bit of Bundesliga left to go, but uh, I thought I might look at uh, the Ajax jerseys that I have and I want to start off not with my first one but actually with the odd one that I have um, which is this one from the 98-99 season probably my favorite Ajax shirt simply because it uses all of my favorite colors in an Ajax shirt uh, and also because it has the Ajax design with the thick center stripe kind of inverted because the light color is at the center but still uses it and it stays within the eye almost within the Ajax color scheme Ajax is red and white the black fits in there because the flag of Amsterdam has also a black in there so I think it's red with a black center stripe and three X's white in there so yeah and in addition what this is now more Ajax um, I'm wearing a Tottenham shirt. I have here Italian teams, one of which plays actually in the Champions League this year. There is a connection between Tottenham and Ajax. Both of these um, identify themselves as the Jewish clubs in their respective countries. So this is also a nice connection. So I don't feel out of place wearing this Tottenham jersey. This one I love. I love how it uses the white here then you have the black and the red which I always like it has a little bit silver or gray which connects nicely with the crest the one thing about this was a thing in the 90s that the sponsor in the Ajax shirt was going um, um, horizontal uh, vertically down so which kind of doesn't fit with the umbro here so maybe this is the one thing that I don't like and maybe it causes a little bit of um, offset but other than that really nice look how the color is nicely made I love this color, how it folds over and then you have this. And then of course the back is all black. Now you can also see this is a typical 90s style shirt. It's all plastic. When you wear this shirt on a hot day, it feels unfortunately a little bit like suffocating. But yeah, I love to have this shirt. Unfortunately, it has already a little bit where you can see some slight color fade. I'm not sure if you will be able to see this on the... Um, video but it has here to the side a little bit of a color fade already um, that you see uh, when the sun shines on there's a little bit more reflection than there should be but yeah absolute favorite Ajax shirt was also worn in the Champions League in 98 99 only 98 because Ajax was in a super super tight group with Olympiakos Croatia Zagreb which is now Dinamo Zagreb of course and Porto and they finished last I think with seven points or something six or seven points really super super tight group uh, all of them all four teams were within two points and Ajax finished last at that time Ajax was not the Ajax team of 94-95 anymore because Bosman hit and all the stars had gone the other thing that I like about this shirt and that's on uh, edited Ajax doesn't have a defined away jersey they usually use some green or some bluish or whatever. It's almost like a Barcelona jersey. Find the most um, crazy colors that you can think of and make a shirt out of that. I love that this is black and white. Uh, it makes so much sense, gives so much contrast. It is a beautiful shirt, in my opinion. Uh, I put this on my blog and I think I read it. This is with nine stars and yeah. I still would go that far. Well, let me know what you think about this shirt, how much, whether you like it or not. Uh, if you have any memories from this shirt, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon.
If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.